Hey everybody, and thanks for tuning back into Hess Hog Spore. Today I have Hog for Reese, and she's going to give me a hand. And what are we going to make for everyone today, Reese? Um, Smoked queso. That's what you meant to say, right? Yeah. So we're going to show you how we make a family favorite. This is a very simple recipe, but it's a very good recipe. And we're changing a couple things up today. I got to give a shout out to Cosmos. They had the mystery box come out and Reese, we were one of the 500 people that got it. And this is the best and it is garlic jalapeno seasoning. Now we tried a little bit. What'd you think of it? A lot of spice to that, and that's what you want. It's gonna be a good balance with our cheese that we're gonna make. So, great job Cosmos with this rub. So what we're gonna do is just talk about what the components are to making this. What we did is we got some ground sausage. Now I got this from our good friends over at Grillo's there in Lake St. Louis. Make sure you stop in and see Mike. And this is just a great quality sausage. And we went ahead and browned it up this morning. One thing to talk about when you're doing your sausage is make sure you don't leave a whole lot of grease on it. Make sure you pat that dry because what you don't want to do is introduce a bunch of sausage grease to your queso. It just, it's not a good flavor combination. From there, we chopped up a whole brick of Velveeta cheese and then Mike up there at Grillo's had some Gouda cheese that we got. We just got about 12 ounces and we cubed that up as well. The reason why we cube that up, Reese, is whenever this is in the smoker and it's starting to form, it's just easier for the cheese to kind of break down and mix together. Our smoker, we've got at 225 degrees and we're using our Rectech today with our smoke ring pellets. And with our pellets today, we're using one of our blends. It's the maple hickory cherry blend. It's a great blend. I think it goes well with the cheese. I think there's enough talk and we're gonna go ahead and get to mixing this up. So the first thing I do is you just take the cheese, right? and you put it in your tray pretty simple pretty easy that's a lot of cheese that is a lot of cheese well it's got to fill this whole tray up right so that's one and then from there i like to mix it up so we've got two cans of rotel and i just happen to do mild and this is just nice to put in there so i'll put the first can in and then after that we'll start putting some of our our sausage in right and we'll get some of the sausage in, not all of it and we want to try to layer it on the best we can and good. it does it's gonna taste so good and we're just gonna put a light sprinkle right is that what we call them sprinkles yeah. a light sprinkle of our jalapeno garlic then from there this is the secret right this is a texture thing this is cream of mushroom soup we're gonna put that in as well and I know you're thinking cream of mushroom soup Josh what are you thinking well it's like when I do our mac and cheese recipe right we put sour cream and we put mayonnaise in there we do that for texture purposes, and this is just a great way to add some texture it to it. It looks like mac and, it looks like mashed potatoes. Like mashed potatoes, yeah, well, hopefully this tastes better. Now from there, we're gonna put on our Gouda cheese, right? Put that in there, and we're gonna dump our second can of Rotel, and we're gonna add the remainder of our, what's this again? Is this sausage? Yeah, that's sausage. That's a lot of rotel, lots of sausage. That's right, lots of rotel, lots of sausage, and that's what we want, right? We like to have some meat in there with our queso. We're gonna season it again, and that'll be all the season we do for a while. Now, after this melts down and gets to where we want it at, Reese, then we're gonna worry about adding some fresh tomato and some cilantro. Uh, there at the end of the process. I know you're probably thinking, Josh, you're forgetting the good stuff. I haven't forgot, it's just not time. So what we're gonna do now that we've mixed this up a little bit, Reese, is we're gonna take this outside of the smoker. And again, we've got our smoker set at 225 degrees. We're gonna put it on there uncovered and we're gonna leave it alone for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, Reese, we're gonna give it a stir, see where it's at and leave it back on the smoker. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon. Okay, Reese, so we've got our smoker at 225, and what we're gonna do, it's pretty simple. We're gonna open our smoker up, we're gonna put our, our queso on there, and we're gonna let it start just melting down and fuse together, Reese. So I'm gonna have you step back just a little bit so the smoke doesn't get you. And we're just gonna take it like so, and we're gonna set it in here, like so. Close it, and we're not gonna look at this for the next 30 minutes. When we open up 30 minutes, we're gonna give it a good stir and see how it's doing. The neat thing is, is the meat's already cooked, so it's ready to go. We just wanna make sure texturally the cheese has had a chance to melt down.
and blend together with her cream of mushroom and the meat and her spices and the rotel. So we'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Thanks for watching. Okay, Reese, so it's been a half an hour. What do you say we open it up and see what this thing looks like? You ready? Don't stand too close, right? All right. So if you want to come close, you can see where the cheese is starting to melt. And all we're going to do is take this nice spoon. And I know you're like, oh, there's all that hamburger or that sausage on top. That's fine. We're going to stir it together and it's going to start to break down. And Reese, after we stir this, we're going to close this thing up again. And how long do you think we're going to leave it closed for, Reese? I think 30 minutes. I think you're right. We're going to close this up for another 30 minutes and let it keep fusing together. But man, this smells good, you guys. I wish you were here. So enough stirring, enough talking. Let's close it up, Reese. We'll see you guys in 30 minutes. Bye. See ya. All right, Reese, how long's it been? 30 minutes. It's been 30 more minutes, so we're right at an hour with it on the smoker. And I'm gonna have you step back, sweetie. Let's take a look and see. If you wanna get close, oh, look at that. So, just like we wanted to see, nice and really starting to come together. It's not there yet. I would say we probably need to give this another 15 minutes. Then after that, Reese, it'll be time. Yeah, we want to really get that stirred up. You can see some of that cream of mushrooms coming up top, so we really want to get that stirred in. But oh man, if you guys had smell o vision you would be so jealous right now how good this smells. So we're going to close this up. We're going to give this another 15 minutes, bring it inside, and then Reese, it'll be time to eat. Thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, we shall spend another 15 minutes and we brought it inside. If you want to come close, I'll have you take a look at it. How's it look to you, Reese? It looks good. Oh, it looks very good. It looks very good. And thank you so much for all your help with that. It ended up being right at an hour and 15 minutes for really to break down and get to the point we wanted at. Now, what I like to do after we bring it inside is a couple of things. One, I like to freshen it up a little bit. So we've got some homegrown fresh tomatoes, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna put some of these in here, and I know you're thinking, Josh, you put Rotel in there. I did, and that's tomato from a can, but nothing beats fresh tomatoes on top of this. And the second thing I like to add when we're doing this is just some fresh cilantro that we chopped up. Mm. And we just put it across, the, doesn't it smell good? So we put that across the top, and then lastly, I always like to finish it off with a little more of our rub. Not a lot, but a little bit, right? Yeah. So again, we're using our Cosmos, and this is garlic jalapeno. Now you could add some fresh jalapenos in here if you want, whatever you choose to do. I just happen not to do it this time. So we put that on there like so. It looks beautiful. And now the most important part, we're gonna taste test it. So let me give you a scoop, Reese. And I'm gonna use, these things are great. These little pretzel bites that we get. Get I yourself a pretzel bite. Well, you do that scoop, I'll do the pretzel bites. So we're just gonna dive in here. What do you think? How's it taste? <laughs> it tastes like this. That translates to awesome last time I checked. Thank you all so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. We look forward to cooking you for you in the future. See you later. Thanks, guys.